Good morning. Today we'll be doing the Liturgy of the Hours morning prayer for March 23rd. Today is the Thursday of the fourth week of Lent. Let's have that moment of silence before our prayer. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and will be forever. Amen. Take up your cross, the Savior said, if you At daybreak, be merciful to me, O Lord. Lord, listen to my prayer. Turn your ear to my appeal. You are faithful. You are just. Give answer. Do not call your servant to judgment, for no one is just in your sight. The enemy pursues my soul. He has crushed my life to the ground. He has made me dwell in darkness like the dead, long forgotten. Therefore, my spirit fails. My heart is numb within me. I remember the days that are past. I ponder all your works. I muse on what your hand has wrought. And to you I stretch out my hands. Like a porcelain, my soul thirsts for you. Lord, make haste and answer. For my spirit fails within me. Do not hide your face, lest I become like those in the grave. In the morning, let me know your love, for I put my trust in you. Make me know the way I should walk. To you I lift up my soul. Rescue me, Lord, from my enemies. I have fled to you for refuge. Teach me to do your will for you, for you, O Lord, are my God. Let your good spirit guide me in the ways that are level and smooth. For your name's sake, Lord, save my life. In your justice, save my soul from distress. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. At daybreak, be merciful to me, O Lord. The Lord will make a river of peace flow through Jerusalem. Rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad because of her. All you who love her, exult, exult with her, all you who were mourning over her. Oh, that you may suck fully of the milk of her comfort, 
that you may nurse with delight at her abundant breast. For thus says the Lord, Lo, I will spread prosperity over her like a river, and the wealth of the nations like an overflowing torrent. As nurslings, you shall be carried in her arms and fondled in her lap. As a mother comforts her son, so will I comfort you. In Jerusalem, you shall find your comfort. When you see this, your heart shall rejoice, and your bodies flourish like the grass. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord will make a river of peace flow through Jerusalem. Let us joyfully praise the Lord our God. Praise, praise the Lord, for He is good. Sing to our God, for He is loving. For to Him our praise is due. The Lord builds up Jerusalem and brings back Israel's exiles. He heals the brokenhearted. He binds up all their wounds. He fixes the number of the stars. He calls each other by its name. Our Lord is great and almighty. His wisdom can never be measured. The Lord raises the lowly. He humbles the wicked to the dust. O oh, sing to the Lord, giving thanks. Sing psalms to our God with a harp. He covers the heavens with clouds. He prepares the rain for the earth, making mountains sprout with grass and with plants to serve man's needs. He provides the beasts with their food and young ravens that call upon him. His delight is not in horses nor his pleasure in warrior's strength. The Lord delights in those who fear him, in those who wait for his love. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us joyfully praise the Lord our God. A reading from the Book of Kings. We are your people and your inheritance. Thus may your eyes be opened to the petition of your servant and to the petition of your people Israel. Hear us whenever we call upon you, because you have set us apart from all the peoples of the earth for your inheritance. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. In today's reading, once again, we are reminded that we are the inheritance of God, that we belong to him. We are his children and he is our father. Sometimes we don't really understand what that truly means and our responsibility to that existence. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Turubius, a bishop who renewed the face of the Church of Peru. He understood clearly that he belonged to God and he had a purpose in this life. And he fulfilled that purpose by serving the church, becoming a bishop and renewing the church of Peru. In today's gospel, Jesus clearly defines who he is. He understands his purpose. He came for our salvation to suffer. And he doesn't testify on his own. He says that John the Baptist has testified on his behalf, but he acknowledges that he and the Father are one. We're coming to a point in Jesus's life where the Pharisees are gonna be very angry at the things he says because he's starting to make himself equal to God, which he is second person of the Blessed Trinity. 
and eventually they're going to put him to death. And so Jesus knew his purpose in his life and fulfilled it. What is your purpose? Why were you placed on this earth as a child of God? We are children of God and we have a purpose to go out and proclaim the word to help others to see Jesus, to help others recognize him. So as we continue in our Lenten journey, let us reflect on what our purpose is in the plan of God for all humanity. Because we are joined in Christ to our baptism, and so also we are joined in the responsibility of for fulfilling our purpose in this life. And we pray that God always remember that we are his children. So remember us, Lord, for we are your children. Have mercy on us and help us to serve you in the same way that you served us. God bless you. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. From those who would trap me with lying words. And from the hunter's snare. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. John bore testimony to the truth, and although I have no need of human testimony, says the Lord, I remind you of this for your own salvation. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was his oath to war to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadows of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. John bore testimony to the truth, and although I have no need of human testimony, says the Lord, I remind you of this for your own salvation. God has revealed himself in Christ. Let us praise his goodness and ask him from our hearts. Remember us, Lord, for we are your children. Teach us to enter more deeply into the mystery of the church. That it may be more effective for ourselves and for the world as the sacraments of salvation. Lover of mankind, Inspire us to work for human progress, seeking to spread your kingdom in all we do. May our hearts thirst for Christ, the, the fountain of living waters. Forgive us our sins and direct our steps into the ways of justice and sincerity. At this time, let's pause for a moment to lift up our prayers and petitions to our Almighty God and Father.
Heavenly Father, we lift up to you our prayers and our petitions, together with the prayers and petitions of each and every one who are praying with us this morning. We ask, dear God, that you hear and answer each and every prayer as we pray. Remember, Remember us, Lord, Lord for, for we are your children. children. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, we now pray the prayer your Son Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Merciful Father, may the penance of our Lenten observance make us your obedient people. May the love within us be seen in what we do and lead us to the joy of Easter. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Thank you for praying with us. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Same time, same place, same channel. Have a great day.